heard it, I'd like you to meet Philip Glass. This is the Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there was a very fine cellist, Wendy Sutter. Uh, I knew her, she, we were, she was working on some, some work with me in New York, and she told me that Tan Dunn had done a concerto, uh, and she had played it uh, with the La Jolla Orchestra, and she, I said, well, do you want to hear the orchestra? I said, yeah, sure. She gave me the, the CD that they had a recording of the performance. It sounded terrific. I said, well, they sound very good. She said, well, they want me to play another concerto. Uh, why don't we play your concerto? And I said, well, it's, if we do, it'll be the American premiere. In fact, it'll be the North American premiere. The piece had only been performed in, I think, New Zealand, Scotland, and China. Philip hasn't had never attended any of those performances, so this is his first time hearing the piece as well. I, I knew Steve as a very fine musician, and that he would be conducting it. He was enthusiastic, and so I said, "Great! I'm finally going to get a hear." hear a piece which is now six years old. I never got to hear it. It's like meeting one of your children and suddenly they're six years old and you missed everything else. <laughs> I've just come from a rehearsal and I've heard it for the first time live and uh, I must say that uh, the balances have held up very well. It's, it's like a, being in a big candy store. You can take what you want and everything's, you know, and, and try everything. And they're willing to, you know, they're willing to try things. They don't have any, they're not jaded. They don't sit on that stage and come to rehearsals every day for it, you know. I love writing music. I don't let a day pass without writing music if I can help it. I also feel that uh, I've been very fortunate to live in a time when there's so many talented uh, directors and uh, performers, uh, 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 choreographers, uh, writers. Uh, I, I'm inspired by their work and I'm drawn to it and that's one of the reasons why I'm working in so many mediums. When Philip and I were studying the piece again, listening to the piece, the concerto, together this summer, you know, he turned to me and he was like, that's a, I wrote a really good piece. This is a really good piece, you know. He'd kind of forgotten about it, you know. And I was like, yeah, it's good, it's good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have a long life in the cello repertoire, so. 